thank you so much for being here. I have a plethora of goodies to share with you today. So we're going to start off with a show and tell. I have managed to finish a few things. My um, ADHD has been really bad lately, so I have got like 500 different projects, literally feels like, going. Um, so today I decided that my goal was going to be to finish up some things that are like almost done. And I figured I would share with you um, things that are done and work with work on one with you. Oh, anyway, so here is the little bee. I'm sorry if I look a little rough, but I'm like burning up today. I don't know. I'm so hot. I just feel oh, gross. So anyway, so here is our little bee pendant sun catcher, whatever you want to call it. So I did coat because the whole piece was covered in um, adhesive. So there was a lot of extra adhesive showing. So I took my rainbow ice from Glitter Guy and after I did all the stones, I just covered it with the rainbow ice. And then after that, I did spray the sealer on it to keep everything in place. So it's even more sparkly than if it just had the rhinestones on it. But look at this beautiful, I love these crystals so much. So much. So on this one, I added one of my extra ball chains to it. Um, just for ease of hanging because it just had the little... Um, jump ring. <laughs> Something shiny just caught my eye down there. <sighs> Don't surprise me. There's glitter and sparkly things everywhere. It's probably a drill, honestly. Um, and then next, I managed this. First of all, this is one of the little like decorative um, shadow box things that you can get at Dollar Tree. And it had like a really cheesy looking, I think it had XOXO on it, but I thought, oh, this will be the perfect size. <laughs> Extra glitter. Um, for our little mushroom friend. So I did our little mushroom friend and then on her body, I covered, coated just her body with the rainbow ice. And then over the rest of the canvas, I used Babe, which is just a light pink glitter. And then I trimmed her down and she fit perfectly in this frame. So here we have another Dollar Tree framing idea. Now I do still need to um, spray this. I, and I also wanna do a little bit more to cover up. You can see the black edging um, I want to do another bead of glue around the perimeter and then put some more glitter on there just so it's a little bit more opaque so that black doesn't show quite as much. But I think she turned out adorable. And Emily loves her too. And it does have a little hangy thing on the back or you can just sit it on a shelf, which is kind of cool. That's, that's the, the... Oh my God. Anyway, moving on. Look what my daddy got me. Very cute. I love it. I don't know where I'm going to put it because I have... I guess I could put it up there. Attach it to my fan pool because it still has the normal, like, whatever the... Hun Huntington? Hun Huntington? Whatever the brand is. Um, next, I finished. I'm a little late on this one, but I did this. So again, this came from the Dollar Tree, Valentine's Day, of course. These I found at Dollar General. They are, they look like Scrabble tiles, but they are in the craft section at Dollar General. So what I did was, this was the bee that was in like the circle frame, remember? 
And all I did was after I put all her drills on, I sprayed her with some clear fixative and I made a mess with the glue on this one. So I might have to spray the whole thing. But this is actually chalkboard paint um, that they intended for you to like write little messages on. But I thought, ooh, this will be perfect for the B. So I put B mine and I put her on like a little bit of an angle. So she looks more like she's flying. But isn't that cute? Super simple too. I just used um, my regular craft glue to glue this on. I used hot glue to glue the tiles on. So cute. So cute. And there, it comes with quite a few of the tiles. Sorry, this is my, my hanging. Uh, let me grab my tiles. So these, this is how many comes in the bag. I think it was like $3 for the bag, which is not bad. I am always on the hunt for like some random Scrabble game at, um, well, I don't go to yard sales anymore, but when I used to go to yard sales, or like when, if I go to Goodwill or something, I always look for a Scrabble game. Never been lucky enough to find it. So these are a good alternative. They, um, they're they made really nice. They're just simple wood, but they're a nice quality. And if you have not discovered these jars, run to Dollar Tree right now. These are so, so awesome. They are the perfect, perfect little trinket storage for like in your craft room and they are adorable. So that, we whew. Squishing my gut. Okay, so the next thing I want us to work on together is the Hummer clock. So here she is all done. And I have been forgetting about this that I got. So I wanted to try this out. And I don't know. Rapid curing, multi-purpose, all-in-one sealer, non-toxic and safe, clean and gloss finish. Cat hair flying around. So it doesn't say to shake it, but I think I am just to be on the safe side. So I was going to go spray this, but I thought, oh wait, I've got my sealer that they sent me. So we're going to try it. Fingers crossed. So it has a little applicator um, sponge thingy. get it primed. Oh, it's coming out. So it is completely clear. So all I'm doing is I'm just dabbing. Yeah, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just dabbing on top of the drills. And the main purpose for this, I know a lot, I get a lot of questions about sealing the diamond paintings. If you're honestly, if you're putting it under glass, you really don't need to seal it because the glass will keep everything in place. Now, the reason I seal pieces like this or like this is if they are not going under glass. And the only reason I do, okay, so it's a little milky if you put too much. So that's that's kind of a good thing though, because then you can see where it is, because I'm not, not altogether confident that I got everything. So I'm just going to go around the numbers. But um, as I was saying, the only reason you really need to seal a painting is if you don't plan on putting it under glass just to keep dust and hair and pet fur um, off of the remaining adhesive. So I'm just going to go around the perimeter here because the little... Um, Minute stones do have some residual adhesive exposed. Okay, so that, ooh, I don't like the smell of that. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, you can see the wetness a little bit, but really there's no, um, you really can't tell that anything was on there. So let me set this aside and let it dry. And in the meantime, we will talk about the piece that I have to 
mount it on. Let's see, where am I gonna put this? Let's just flop that right there. Okay, so I went to Hobby Lobby with my piece in hand and I found this softball, baseball, whatever you wanna call it, wood. It's just regular wood piece. So I sent it off to my, pop, my papa and had him drill a hole for me because I do not have tools. And then on the other side, because I don't need the softball side, um, I painted it green and then I did just the edges with some glitter. And this is cash money green. Again, from the glitter guy. So all I did was after I painted, and I mainly just did the paint um, to kind of help with the glitter so I didn't have to do so much glitter. But um, I just coated the edge with some Mod Podge and then sprinkled the glitter on and let it dry. So there is just a little bit of the edge that is going to show. So that's why I did this because it's a little bit bigger. I couldn't find what I really wanted was an actual clock face that already had the hole drilled in it, but it was too small. So I had to get creative. But the problem that happened with that, which my dad discovered, this is the mechanism that came with the diamond painting. The problem is it's not long enough to go all the way through. Oh, excuse me. So my dad, which I was going to do, but he did it anyway. Um, he went to Hobby Lobby and they have... Ooh, mechanisms that have a longer shaft. So you can see the difference there in the length. So you have to have enough protruding from the wood to keep the hands from catching on the drills. So my dad went ahead and took care of everything for me. So all I have to do now is put everything in place. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on this. That way it doesn't fall out. <laughs> so I'm just going to put on the corners so I don't get anywhere near the mechanism so I don't have to worry about messing that up. And then I'm just going to put this back in the opening and wiggle it a little bit just to get it seated. And again, since it's round, I really don't have to be careful with it right now. Come on, glue. Okay. You know what? I just realized I don't have any way to hang this. I'm going to have to figure that out still. I don't have a... Anyway. All right. So there is our mechanism in place. And then my plan to attach, let's see if this stuff is dry. Oy. Too much stretching. Oh. Let's see if this is dry. It's not dry just yet. And I see a feline fur that I don't want to stick in the wet. Oy. Animals. Although, if it's not my hair, it's their hair. So I can't really yell at them because my hair is everywhere, too. But at least mine is nice and long, and it's easier to remove. All right, so we're going to give this a few minutes to dry completely. Oh, and for the hole in the center of the clock, I just used my X-Acto knife and um, did like a crisscross Crisscross applesauce. Is that going to work? Come on. There we go. Come on. Oh, it looks like I need to cut a little bit more. Hang on a second. I'll be back. Okay. Got it on there. And here is where you need to be precise because your mechanism, it needs to be level. So you need to make sure that your clock 
is positioned correctly. Okay, so you don't want that to move too much. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue down and I'm trying to decide if I wanna use my tacky glue or if I just wanna do hot glue, but I think I need to do tacky glue. And that, that sealer really didn't take that long to dry, less than five minutes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use my tacky glue, but I'm not gonna make you watch me. So what I did was I just globbed a bunch of glue underneath, and then I checked again to make sure my placement was good, that it hadn't moved. And then I'm just using my brayer to go from the center out to keep it as lump free as possible. And this is going to take a little bit because the, um, the glue does take a few minutes to catch, but I want to just make sure <clears throat> you want to get all the way out to the edges as best you can. So it doesn't start lifting, which is what it's trying to do right now. But that's mainly because of the glitter. Glue does not like to go on top of glitter. So this is just going to be kind of like a fiddly part to get everything glued and in place. But just take your time because you want this to look like a nice piece. Oh my gosh, I have the cutest little finch out on my bird feeder right now. They're so tiny. Like um, the tufted titmouse, the black cat chickadee, and whatever that little brown one is. It's a brown bird with like a white stripe around its eye. Those are my favorite little finches. I don't get to see them very often, but I recently started buying um, a different bird food. And the chickadees and the titmice are coming around a lot more, so. I will be buying this bird seed from now on because they like it and I like seeing them. All right, so I'm just going around, making sure the edge is secure, giving it a few minutes to grab through all that glitter. And I am using more glue than I normally would, but again, it's because the glitter is there it needs to it needs a little bit extra to like catch go all the way through oops come back here i hate how messy glitter is but i love how it looks because it really does get everywhere all right i think that is good but I will come back just periodically. I'll just go around and just smush it. All right, so now this, I have not tested this yet. Glitter everywhere. Um, I'm hoping the hands that came with the original mechanism will still work with this new mechanism because they are much prettier than what came with the longer shaft. I've noticed some drill shifting here that I didn't see when I was putting the sealer on there, so that's kind of strange. Hmm. <sighs> like I said, this is very fiddly. And you definitely have to take your time or you will not be happy with the outcome. I'm going to be green and sparkly. Oh, I can be like the Grinch today. So these are the hands that came with the diamond painting. And they are much prettier. They're they're more of a fancy, whereas these are just the regular plain, like straight ones. So I really hope. Why are there so many? Oh, I know why, because I put the another set in there. Okay, anyway. Alright. Now this 
I did not have to glue the mechanism in place, but I did because of the drills. They come with a washer that you screw in place and that keeps the mechanism on attached to your piece. Two reasons, two, two reasons I glued it was because of I'm not sure how I'm going to hang it yet. And since it does it does not have a hanging mechanism, um, it's probably going to have to be hung from here. So I didn't want it moving at all. And I also wasn't real sure how the washer, how tight the washer would attach with the drills in place. So I just wanted to have that just a little extra security. But again, that's my that's my brain, so you may or may not have to do that. But again, it all depends on how you mount your piece. So what you mount it on, I should say. So if you're just putting this on a canvas, like a, like a stretch canvas, you could do that also. That would be very simple. <clears throat> it should hold it in place well enough with just the, um, the washer. So anyway, back to assemblage. Let's see. Okay, I want to use these, but why are there three? Why are there three? There should only be one or two, I mean, because I have two sets of hands in here. And I can't get a hold of them because my stinking nails. I am way overdue again, as always, because it's it. I manage to go once a month. That's the only it's, as often as I can manage to go. All right. My second hand is a little warped there. I'm just straightening it out. That's an, that's another thing. You have to be really careful with these. They are very, very easy to bend. So you want to put them on. I should have put that washer underneath, but I, I think I'm just going to leave that washer off. I should have put it, oops, doing it backwards. So you have to look again, you have to look, if you've never done this before, this is for those of you that have never done this before. The openings on your hands are made to sandwich in each other. So you have to make sure you put the biggest opening on first and it will snap in place but you don't want to press too hard because it will bend. So you just want to push that down. Come on. All right. Oh come on don't tell me it's not going to work on this one. Oh. What's going on here? Hmm, this is strange. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Well, oops, sorry about that. The original clockworks have been installed. The other one was stupid. It did not have the right opening for the hands to fit so I just had to like shove this in there and pray that there is just enough room for the hour hand to move. So as you can see I've had the battery in it for a few minutes just kind of checking it and the second hand and the minute hand are working just fine so I just have to wait to see what's going to happen with the hour hand. So anyway there is the finished clock she is gorgeous. I am very happy. And that's all I have for you today. So I will see you again very soon. Thank you so much for being here. Love you. Bye. I did have one more thing to show you. It's not diamond painting, but I still wanted to show you. So this is a puzzle that I got at Dollar Tree. 
This is actually from Christmas, but they sell these all the time, all the time at Joann's and Michael's. I did have to cut a little bit of the puzzle off, but as you can see, I ran some glue in the open areas and covered it with some mermaid tail glitter. And then I used some of my resin pieces to kind of frame it. And she's super cute. There's no way on earth I was gonna take this puzzle apart because let me tell you, her hair was a pain in the neck. Putting all the white together was so much easier than trying to get her hair put together. Anyway, so I was not gonna take this apart, but that is my little puzzle. So that's it.